All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of our NHL 22 Be a Pro series with our goaltender, Everett Scott. And in the previous episode, we played two games. We played one against the Red Wings, where we won 3-2. to two. Then we didn't play again until this game against the Lightning, where we lost to nothing. And we're only a couple weeks ahead of where we last left off. I did play in this game against the Avalanche. Well, I didn't actually play it myself. I simulated through it, and we lost 6-5 to five in overtime. Then the next game I played after that was this game against the Maple Leafs, where we won 3-1 to one in the simulation. And we are currently coming off a loss 4-2 to two against the Ottawa Senators. We are in 2024, January 3rd. To be exact, we're taking on the 2014 and 4 Edmonton Oilers. But before we start uh, today's episode, we are going to check out the stats, see how they have changed since the end of the previous episode. So we'll go into that here. So we are barely holding on to a wild card spot. We are two points under the Ottawa Senators and Buffalo. And Florida are close behind, looking to overtake that second wild card spot. Tampa Bay leading the Atlantic, no surprise there. In the Central, you got Colorado and Chicago on top, followed behind by Winnipeg, Nashville, and Minnesota. St. Louis, the bottom of that division there. Leading the East, you got Tampa Bay, followed closely behind by the Bruins and the Maple Leafs. The entire league so far, the Avalanche are on top, but close behind is Vegas and Chicago. Leading the Metro, you got the Hurricanes, and then behind them are the Pens and the Blue Jackets. Worst team is the Caps. Then in the Pacific, you got Vegas on top, followed by Calgary and Edmonton. And then in last is the Kings. Then winning the Western Conference so far is the Avalanche, with Vegas and Chicago close behind them. So now on to player stats for our team to start things off. Brennan Gallagher. Tied with Christian Dvorak for points. Most goals, Brennan Gallagher on top. Then Evander Kane and Christian Dvorak in second place. Tied with 11. And did I do apples yet? I don't think so. Nick Suzuki with 18. And then Vincent Trocek and Cole Caulfield tied at second with 15. And then we got a two-way tie for third between Mike Hoffman and Christian Dvorak with 14. Best plus minus is plus 12 for Jeff Petrie. Most penalty minutes, Brennan Gallagher with 27. Who has the best shooting percentage for our team? David Savard does not count. Brennan Gallagher, 17.8% shooting percentage. That's the best on our team. Player who's come up clutch for us the most is Nick Suzuki. And then Jeff Petrie and Dvorak tied at two. Who's, who's the best for us on the power play? Mike Hoffman. All right, now let's check out... Goalie stats, Carey Price has played in 27 games, has went 11, 12, and 3, no shutouts, a .896 save percentage, so about 90 if you round it up, and a 3.09 goals against on average, so he is not having a good season. I've played 15 games, and I have an 8, 1, and 2 record with one shutout, and I have a .919 save percentage and a 2.34 goals against on average, so... Uh, even though Carey Price is still the starting goalie, uh, you would think that they would make me the starter because I am performing better, but I don't know. That's just me. I'm not going to complain, though. So for the entire league, I don't want to look at goalies yet. Well, we might as well since we're here. So winningest goaltender so far is Jacob Markstrom with 22. Least amount of losses from a starter would probably be I'd say Freddie Anderson with Chicago with five I don't know do we have somebody who has more than that yeah Jack Campbell has 30 games played he only has nine losses so decent amount uh, let's go back up to the top here most shutouts, Anthony Stolarz with three, Blackwood with three, Ranta, Anderson, Campbell, and Demko with three. 
Best save percentage from a starter would be Wallstead with a .926 or Ilya Sorokin with a .925. I guess it just depends on who you'd count as the better player. I think they would give it to Wallstead, the Vesna, because he has a better winning record. I don't know how they determine that. Yikes, Cal Pedersen having a bad year. Robin Leonard with a 2.22 goals against on average. Hey, I'm up in the top, 2.34. All right, you love to see it. Now let's look at skaters, shall we? All right, so most points so far is Nikita Kucherov and then a two-way tie for second between Larkin and McKinnon with 41. And then most goals so far is Vladdy Tarasenko with 26, followed close behind by Matthews and Patty Kane. Most apples, Jonathan Huberdeau with 31 and William Nylander with 31 as well. Victor Hedman close behind them. Best plus minus, Joe Pavelski with a plus 18. Best shooting percentage, got to scroll down a bit. Nick Cousins with a 24.4% shooting percentage. And Sebastian Ajo, Brad Marchand, Claude Giroux, Jacob Perot, and Steven Samkos with five game winners. Best power play, or most power play goals is Dreisaitl, Matthews, and Kucherov with nine, and Ovechkin has eight. All right, that should do it for the stats. And I haven't updated my abilities or my skill tree at all. So we are going to jump in to the third period of this game against the Oilers. All right, start of the third period here in Montreal. Up by two at the start of the third. Hopefully we can hold on to this lead here. Nice shot. I don't even think uh, the Tendi had to make a save there. I think it just went wide. Suzuki with it over to Caulfield, down to Klingberg. He gets knocked off the puck. It goes offside. Here we go. There we go. Nice save. Good way to start it off here. Good defense there. Romanov. He gets hit against the boards, but he gets the pass off to Hoffman. He gets passed over to Caulfield. Over to Suzuki. Tries to deke around the Tendi up close. Nice save from the Tendi and Nurse. We'll get it out of the zone with a pass to Dreisaitl. Another good save there on Yamamoto. One thing I do want to mention is, once again, thank you guys so much for all the support. Uh, we are, I think, four subscribers away from 300 at the time of recording this. So to everybody who's new to the channel, welcome. Hopefully you enjoy my content. If you do, I, I just hope you continue to do so. And for those of you who have been around for a while, thank you for continuing to support me. It truly means a lot. And I hope this little family of ours can continue to grow and uh, we can expand into more and more things. Games-wise, that is. Maybe other stuff. There we go. Brennan Gallagher puts us up by three with a nice rebound goal. His 14th of the season. Something I do want to mention now before I forget is uh, after... Well, maybe not after this video goes up. Um, but sometime uh, later on Friday afternoon. So that so after the so it will be after this video goes up, I guess. But sometime later on in the afternoon or early evening on Friday after this video goes up, I will be putting up a poll uh, asking you guys what you want me to record for next week. So. Um, well, maybe not a poll, but I'll just I'll just ask you guys to comment. Let me know what you want me to play, um, because I don't want you guys to get burnt out on NHL content if you don't want to see it. Um, I know probably a lot of you here right now are uh, are mainly here because of my NHL 23 content. So, um, because the poll that I put up to decide what I'm recording for today's upload. Uh, NHL 23 won by a, war, uh, a large percentage. So 
I'm assuming a lot of you guys want me to just keep playing this, but I, I also want to give a chance for the other people who want to see me play something different. Uh, I want to give them a chance to have their voice heard. So, yeah, I'll probably just put out a poll. Um, I know sometimes it's buggy on YouTube's end, so you might not see it in your subscription feed. Um, if you don't, just make sure to check my uh, community community tab on my channel page uh, later on in the afternoon or Friday afternoon or at least a few hours after I upload my video. Just look around then. Um, but yeah, I'll just let you guys comment and let me know what you're wanting to see. Um, I'll probably ask you guys to tell me what you want me to record for each three videos. If you want me to record all NHL, just say NHL all three days or NHL two days, MLB one day or something like that, you know. I'll figure it out, but yeah, I just figured I'd get that out to you guys now before I forget. But yeah, so once again, though, thank you guys so much for all the support lately. I greatly appreciate it, and I hope it continues to go that way, and we'll just keep building up from here. But enough with the sentimentals. We are here. Oh, I thought that was going to sneak through. I do not know how to pronounce that Tendi's name. And you win? Maybe, probably not. But we got 14 seconds left to go on the power play. And Yunin has made a decent amount of saves. But that should kill off our power play. Good defense there from the Oilers. Appleton. Here we go. Getting some more action here. Nice interception there by Dvorak. A little bit of a breakaway. He had a little bit of a breakaway. Gallagher, nice shot. Good save by the Tendi. Ten and a half left to go. Still only at five minute periods. I thought that kind of, I thought that kind of flowed pretty well for uh, yesterday's episode. Um, so. We will continue to use this, but if I play it on my own, I will do eight-minute period lengths. I thought he was going to snipe that blocker side because I moved over. I thought I moved over too quick. Thankfully not. And somebody commented not too long ago saying uh, the audio was a little off. I'm assuming that person was referring to my commentary to the gameplay. Um... But I asked him, asked him or her, or, or uh, they or them, I don't know what their situation is, um, so I apologize. But I, I asked them to specify if it was like only during a certain point of the video, and uh, or if it, oh, nothing I could do there. I knew that pass was coming. I just couldn't get over quick enough. But... Yeah, I asked them to specify it was only, if it was only a certain portion of the video or if it was the entire thing, and they never responded back. So, um, I don't know. Maybe they were just trolling. I don't know. But, yeah, if you do notice that it is off, um, please let me know. And be sure to specify if it's for, like, the entire video or just a small portion. If it is... If it is slightly off, I don't think it's to the point where it's like completely like way off to the point where it's like impossible to watch. But if it is and enough people say it, then I will try and fix it to the best of my ability. But yeah, I think I think that's it. We will go back to hockey because that is what we are playing right now. Anderson. Coming back in. Got up close and personal with the Tendi. Got it again. Good save from the Tendi again. Nice one-timer there from Suzuki. Wide of the net. Yamamoto gets pushed off the puck. Suzuki picks it back up and gets hit. I was going to say pushed off the puck, but that was that was more of a hit, not a push. Ooh, big hit on McJesus. I'm surprised nobody wanted to throw down the gauntlet on that one. Can't hit the best player and the captain without getting a without facing some repercussions. Okay. There's McJesus. He's made it a, he's made it a one goal game now, I believe. 
It is four to five now, I think. McDavid with his second of the night. I don't know how my guy didn't get that. Maybe I just dropped down to the butterfly too soon or not soon enough. I don't know. But we have four minutes left to go, and the Oilers making this one interesting. And of course, now that I want my team to score, they're gonna be nowhere to be f they're gonna be nowhere to be found, right? Yeah, I think so. They're gonna be nowhere to be found on the ice there. Nice little deke by Caulfield there. Suzuki with the follow-through shot. Caulfield up close, and he gets us a goal. Thank you. He must have heard me, and I think that's his second of the night. Oh, no, I'm thinking of Brendan Gallagher. Never mind. Cole Caulfield with his eighth goal of the season. Yeah, I just sniped it. Sniped it glove side there. You'll love to see it. Unless you're an Oilers fan, then you hate to see it. Caulfield climbing up the leaderboards. For our team, anyway. So we're back up by two, thanks to Caulfield. Suzuki and Hoffman with the assists. Yeah, at this point, just keep it away from me and we'll be good. Kicked around the board there, picked up by D-Nurse. Ooh, big hit. Where is it? Is he injured? Ooh. I, I seriously just tried to use the right stick to move the camera to look at him, but that is not how this game works. This is not this is not an open world open world shooter game. Give me the puck, draw check. I'm gonna get an empty netter. I wish you could call for the pass. I think he used to be able to in old, older NHL games, but I don't know. And Trocek had an open lane to shoot it, and he decided to do a stride deke, or a, a toe drag deke, rather, and completely whiffed. Where are we going here? Come on. Got a piece of it there. Couldn't make that save on McDavid, though, somehow. Alright, I was going to pass it out, but I don't want to get credit for a bad pass. And nobody on my left was open that I could see. I do not want to risk giving up a wide open net. Good face off win. Petrie loses it. Alright, we're going on to the penalty. Power play. I almost did it again. McJesus going to the box for interference. So that should pretty much wrap it up for the Oilers, hoping to win this game in a comeback fashion, even though I don't think they'd have that much time regardless. Maybe one more shot. No, they got hit off the puck, and that should do it. And there we go. Kind of a rough performance there in the second half of the period, but we get the win regardless, and I will take it. But... I will see you guys at the start of the next at the start of the next third period that we play unless something important comes up. All right, start of the third period once again in Montreal. I was really hoping we could play in an away game because I feel like all I ever do is home games. But maybe next episode we are taking on the Ducks. It's reverse retro night here. It is retro night in Montreal I would have picked different jerseys but I mean Montreal doesn't really have a wide variety of selections for their jerseys oh Mike Hoffman up close Lindbergh makes the save Hoffman with a close-up chance another good save up close by Suzuki over to Caulfield couldn't get the puck though good defensive play there by Vanaheim I believe his name was Klingberg gets pushed off the puck there, but he, oh, he takes it offside. You hate to see it. Yeah, it is retro night here in Montreal between the Habs and the Ducks. I enjoy their reverse retro jerseys. I don't mind them. When I first saw them, I didn't really like them, but they've grown on me a little bit. I was originally going to have the Ducks wear their orange 
alternate jerseys because I like the look of those. They're my favorite Ducks jerseys. But uh, I was going to have Montreal in their 0607 second home jerseys, which are white. So I figured, oh, that'd be nice. Uh, spice it up a little bit since I'm not on the road. It'd be nice to get a different color change, even though we're at home. But I just couldn't do it. I don't like using white colors for home games. But I, I ranted about that in yesterday's episode. So you don't need to listen to me talk about that again. I want to do precision movement so I can get this dang thing off the off the top of my head. I know I can turn that stuff off, but I like to keep it on to see if I actually made the save or not. Oh, we're going to the penalty kill. I thought we were on it. Come on, give me the give me the precision movement, dang it. I got it once, I gotta do it two more times. Evander Kane, two minutes in the sin bin for slashing. You hate to see it. We do have a three goal cushion, so I'm not a little, or I'm not too rattled if we give up a goal here. They've had three chances so far, six shots. Oh, I was gonna pass that out. I saw he was open on the right there, or he got open on the right there. First shot of the penalty kill made the save, so that's a good way to start it off. Tied up there. Where are you going with it? Get it away. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm hoping that eventually this team can uh, turn it around. Because we are struggling right now. We are we are barely above 500. Uh, yeah, we're just, we're barely above 500, and we made it all the way to the Stanley Cup Finals in our first year. I would hate to not be able to do that again in year two, or at least make it back to the postseason. Um, especially because I think I would actually get to start, but. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Probably the next episode will probably uh, get close. We'll probably get close to the end of our second season, but we'll probably have the final game two episodes from now. But I don't know yet. I guess it just depends on uh, when I think a good stopping point is. Big hit there against the boards. Jakob Silverberg coming towards me here. Big hit. Maybe. Not really big, I guess. That's what she said. Romanov. He's struggling. Loses it. Dvorak with a nice shot. Lindbergh makes the glove save. All right, we're playing well here against the Ducks. I haven't seen Zegras. Knowing EA, he probably got traded to a different team because that's how EA works. Or I just haven't seen him. Paddled that one out of here. Jeff Petrie up to Hoffman. Hoffman gets it out of our zone, moving into the Ducks zone. He's getting some pressure. Over to Petrie. Shoots, but it gets deflected. Fowler over to Raquel. Up to Terry. Yeah, I haven't seen Zegras. Maybe he's injured. I don't know. But I think this is the first time in this series, well, this this year, that we've played against the Ducks so far. Where is that? Where is that? Okay. I saw that red flash up on the for the goalie grid there for a split second. I was like, oh, well, there's a goal. But thankfully, my guy was able to cover it. Those are situations where I get antsy and I don't know what to do. But thankfully, the AI helped me a little bit. Whoa, I thought that one went in somehow. Went up and over. Caulfield with it now. Up to Hoffman. Suzuki got stick lifted. Good poke check there by v Vaknaheim. Probably butchered it. Oh, 
Ooh, moved over in a good spot there. I wouldn't have been surprised, though, if he sniped at Trapper, or tr sniped at Blocker side. Thankfully, he did not. 4.49 left to go in our final game of the episode. Why did I change the camera? Ooh, I flashed a leather on that one. A little bit. Got a little cheeky with that save I did. Something I have been kind of thinking about doing. I know it's an oversaturated market already. And I don't really need to add my own mix into it. But YouTube, uh, the YouTube gaming scene was already way oversaturated. But I still started my channel anyway. So I'm thinking why not just go, with, go for it and see what happens. But I've been thinking maybe I could do a podcast. Or maybe I, I've been wanting to maybe start a podcast. Uh, I don't know what I'd talk about. I think maybe I could just like talk about uh, like movies or like TV shows or maybe talk about like some NHL games that I've watched recently or, or you know, just about anything, uh, anything that comes to my mind. But I don't really know if any of you guys would be interested in that. Um, I might just do it anyway and just see what happens, you know, because who knows? Um, I didn't think I'd be nearly as far as I am with my YouTube channel, and that's proven me wrong so far. So you just it just goes to show that you truly never know. Got a piece of the glove. Goes out of bounds. But yeah, so if you guys would be interested in maybe me starting a podcast, uh, there'd be no video for it or anything. It'd just be like audio, st audio obviously, and then maybe in the future I could do video, but not interested really in that part. Um... But yeah, if you guys would be interested in that, feel free to let me know in the comments below. And if you have any ideas of what I could make my podcast about or any ideas you would like to hear me talk about if I did a podcast, uh, be sure to comment down below. Let me know what your ideas are. I'd love to hear them. Or if you don't want me to do a podcast, tell me that too, because I would love to know. Your opinions... And your thoughts are always valued. I always listen to what you have to say. So don't feel like your comments or your thoughts will fall on deaf ears. Because I can assure you they will not. I don't necessarily respond to every comment. Because sometimes people comment stuff. And I don't really know how to respond. Because I don't know if it really... Uh, really needs a response um and then sometimes it's just like weird comments that i'm not really sure what they mean so i'm just like well i'm not going to respond to that but usually nine times out of ten i will respond to your comment but like i said if it doesn't really make sense i'm not going to respond because i don't know what to say so but and my example of that is just like saying like uh, like somebody commented and just had a bunch of O's. So the way I took that is either they were going, ooh, you know, or they were going, oh, because they figured out how to do something that I did in the game. So I didn't really know how to respond to that. So I just didn't. So that's what I'm talking about. Ooh, I freaking. Oh, my goodness. That was lucky. All right. That kind of killed the the high I was riding off with that epic, like, flail around save, but oh well. Yeah, that's the type of comments I'm referring to when I say I'm not really, I, like, I don't respond to them. If it's nothing like that, I more than likely will respond because I love doing that. But even though we gave up that last last uh, like 30 second goal we will come out of this episode winning two of our games that we played in and yeah i'd say we did pretty well we kind of had a terrible performance there in the in the previous game but we had a great performance in this one despite that last like 30 second goal we gave up but we still get the win regardless Hopefully in the next episode, well, not hopefully, in the next episode we will be doing an away game, at least one. 
because I feel like every single episode I do only home games and I don't I don't want you guys to just see us constantly in Montreal but we'll check out the three stars here since we're there so third star is Vincent Trocek with a goal and an assist no hits second star is your boy Everett Scott with a 2.00 goals against on average did not see the save percentage but we'll go back and look here oh never mind first star is Josh Anderson uh can I please see that I think I can reset it if I go here and then back out. Yeah, Vincent Trocek, third star. Second star is me. Two goals against on average, 30 saves, and a .938 save percentage. You'll love to see it. But I'm going to get a thumbnail, but you guys will not have to sit through that. Um, so that will do it for this episode. If you enjoyed, you guys know what to do. Make sure to hit that like button, comment, subscribe, do all those things. Helps me break through that YouTube algorithm, the pesky thing that it is. And yeah, if you comment, I'd, I'd love to hear your feedback on the podcast idea. If you think it's a good idea, let me know. If you think it's a terrible idea, please feel free to let me know and tell me I'm an idiot if you think it's a dumb idea. I do not care. I'm open to all criticisms and opinions, and I would love to hear what you guys think. But yeah, so I think that'll wrap it up. I don't want to ramble on too much longer. I've done enough of that in this video. So yeah, if you enjoyed, like I said, like, comment, share, subscribe, do all those things. I appreciate it every single time. Thank you all so much for the support lately. And thank you so much for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. And until next time, take care.